Ngoba asibasabi. Areba sabi. Ibilere re abate. Wozani. Siza usebenza nani. Sipinde sin sebenze nani. That is how we work. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Once again, welcome to South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trending news. We do, however, grab here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here. So, yesterday, the ANC was reflecting on the 100 days of the GNU. And the president has said a few things that were highlight for me. I am going to share that with you. And before we do that, please do understand that I'm not a politician. I do not have deep knowledge in politics. However, I am a South African citizen who is also a voter. And I do believe that my views count when it comes to political affairs of this country. As I use that to decide who to vote for. Do you understand? Let us get into this. The ANC was the first to say, we accept the results of the elections and the decision of our people. That in itself showed leadership. It showed maturity on our part. And people have said that in other countries, when the governing party loses its majority, sometimes they refuse to accept the will of the people. La a South Africa that is led by the African National Congress. We made it clear that we accept the decision of our people and the will of our people because we respect our people. Having done so, comrades, we had a number of choices. One of them was whether the ANC should go into opposition. Opposition benches because we did not attain 50 plus 1 percent. Yes, when you have not attained 50 plus 1 percent, one of your choices is to go into opposition and see how best you can regain ground. One of the choices was to lead, to provide leadership, to lead a government of national unity and to invite the other parties and say to them, as our people have decided, let us work together. We opted for giving leadership. The ANC could not sit on its laurels and not do anything to lead this country forward. The president has said that in other countries, the leading parties, they resist. They don't want to follow the will of the people once they lose power. And um, the ANC has decided, you know what, oh, we had an option to sit on the benches, but they decided, you know what, let us lead this beautiful country and what not. Um, I am of the view that it benefits the ANC more to stay in power. They chose what is right. Yes, the country is benefiting because there was stability, right? The GNU has brought in stability. Truly speaking, I wouldn't lie on that one but the ANC also benefited because I am of a view that if they decided to sit on the benches of the opposition they, then 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 there would be a nail on the coffin <laughs> I am of a, a view that they would just go right into the dark for the long 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 time and fight for survival you know, regaining ground after sitting in the opposition benches, I don't see how that would have happened. But anyway, it's to their own as we proceed with this commentary. The Jew and you, comrades, should not be judged by the political orientation of the parties that constitute this administration. But it should be judged by the impact that it will make on the lives of the poor and working people of South Africa. Since the elections, South Africans from all walks of life have rallied behind the objectives, the programs, and the work that the GNU has embarked upon. But they've largely rallied around the implementation of the statement of intent. And both as individuals and through their various formations, our people have made a commitment to work, work alongside the government to build an inclusive economy. And already we can see in the surveys there are many surveys that are being published that show that the majority of South Africans have embraced the government of national unity. The majority of South Africans have accepted 
the notion of the GNU that we should all work together. I am one of the people that are for the GNU, though I have not participated in any of the service that the president is, is speaking about, but I am for the GNU. But I still want to see more from the GNU. And the reason why I'm for the GNU, it is because I have seen certain things happening, things that were not happening prior to having the GNU. We have to tell the truth. I have seen things happening, but I still want to see more from the GNU. I want to see the buildings, especially in that job CBD Hillbro. I want to see change there. I want to see the buildings that have been hijacked, clean, like everything in order. I just want to see the order. And one of the things that I want to see from the GNU is order management. Properly. We, I don't know if I'm speaking for all South Africans, but I am for one that we need the our borders taken care of by the soldiers as well. Regardless of the offices that are there, that we see the one between South Africa and, um, and Zimbabwe, that cannot give the desired results that every South African really want. We want to see change in our airports. We want to see... You know, we just want to see, we just want to see those things, the majors, so that if we welcome our fellow Africans to our country, we welcome them through the laws of our countries. We cannot say we don't want Nigerians in South Africa, we don't want Zimbabweans, we don't want Mozambicans, we just don't want, we just don't want, we don't want Brazilians, we don't want Americans, we don't want uh, anybody to come to South Africa. We want people to come to South Africa. But we want them coming through our laws of the country. We want that. We want that. We want that. And you see, the GNU will be tested on that one. Anyway, let us continue with this business of the day. We thank all political parties who agreed to be part of this journey, who came together acting in the interests of our country. We went into the GNU knowing full well that we have significant ideological and political differences with some of the parties. Exactly what we had in 1994. In 1994, we went into a government of national unity with a party that represented apartheid, our oppressors, and we agreed that to take South Africa forward, we would work together with them. You see there, when the president said we did this with the, with the party that was oppressing us way back, years back in 1994, hana, 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 hana. You see, this is where the Democratic Alliance has to be careful. Do you know what happened to the National Party after that? <laughs> Do you know what happened? to the National Party after that. After that. So, and also in this coming clip, there's something that the president has said. He said, come, inviting political parties to come work with the ANC. He said, we will work with you. And work with you. I mean, and work you. Do you understand? And work you. He said, Caesar Sevens are nine. Sini Sevens are food. Do you understand? Do you understand? So this is how they sevens at the National Party way back then. So they must tread very carefully that uh, democratic alliance. Anyway, each to their own. Let us... Today, we are in a GNU with nine other parties. And some of those parties we have major ideological differences with. We knew that there were fundamental issues on which we differed and that were bound to bring about tensions and strains in the government of national unity. But we also know from many decades of experience that the ANC comrades has the strategic clarity and the political capacity to work alongside a wide range of those in pursuit of progressive goals. 
Goba asibasabi. Areba sabi. Ibilere re abate. Wozani. Siza o sebenza nani. Sipinde sin sebenze nani. That is how we work. Exactly what is said. So if you didn't understand the last part that the president has said there, he said, we don't fear the other parties. Come and work with us. We will work with you and work you. <laughs> Yay, South African politics. Did they work the National Party long time ago? Because I remember what happened to the National Party. So did they work the National Party? Because it's in the history books that they worked with the National Party. And after that, the National Party was never the same. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching my videos. This is South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trending news. We do, however, crap here and there from international news. When it is trending enough to be brought here, do have a lovely Tuesday.